Tilan Vijay Singhe is a, an entrepreneur and an investment banker, a former uh, Sri Lankan cricket player, the one of the founders of Tea Trails. He's worked very closely with Serendip Leisure and, and many other notable Sri Lankan um, tourism organizations and other organ public-private organizations. He's also the former chairman of the Board of Investment in Sri Lanka. Tilan, it's a joy to have you with us. Thanks. Thank you for the invitation. Tilan, I know we've, we've spoken a lot about this offline. What structural changes are you seeing within the industry as a function, I guess, of the Easter attacks as well as um, the virus? The structural changes in tourism, David, is also a function of the ease of restructuring of a business in Sri Lanka. So there are certain laws that permit us to uh, restructure, certain laws that are relatively more rigid, such as the termination of employment. So I was greatly encouraged also at the fact that, as Kimali pointed out, the, 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 the cabinet of ministers have approved what appears to be a, an ability for tourism businesses to restructure themselves. So I think the fundamental changes that are going to happen post the restructuring, I believe there'll be a shrinking of inventory. There'll be a greater focus on both the indigenous brands as well as the international brands would look at Sri Lanka again because there will be opportunities for acquisitions, particularly those brands that acquire their own assets. I think there'll be probably less demand for international brands that are purely doing management contracts, but again, that's just a hypothesis. Overall, I believe there'll be, the tourism industry will emerge with greater maturity because as you're aware, David, we had a 30, some, almost a 30 year conflict in our country. And when the conflict entered, ended in 2009, many first time tourism entrepreneurs embarked on products, tourism products and tourism ventures that were wrongly positioned, poor management, wrong product in the wrong location. And I think those hotels that were doing relatively poorly pre the Easter tax may go through a recycling of capital. So there could be very well be fresh capital coming in, more mature management, and we'll see an industry that is emerging far more stronger with better management, greater capital for refurbishment. What are the incentives? I mean, we talk about restructuring, we talk about kind of relatively old fashioned or traditional forms of structure within the hotel industry in Sri Lanka. What are the incentives for investors and what are the incentives for owners now to, to make these changes? Well, the incentives are primarily tax holidays and accelerated depreciation allowances. There's also foreigners can actually lease land for 99 years, unlike in the case of Thailand, where it's a shorter period. And foreign, foreigners can also own strata title apartments. Uh, so therefore, the legal framework is by and large in place. I believe that the in government is also announcing a package of incentives. They have reactivated what is called the Strategic Development Projects Act, which allows very liberal uh, tax incentives to be given, particularly to large scale investors. Uh, and of course, we have the Board of Investment, where when you make an investment, the, whether it's local or foreign known, the BOI signs an agreement, and those incentives are then enshrined in the agreement for the duration of the uh, uh, business. Tilan, you talked about attrition within the industry and you talked about, I mean, which again indicates kind of fairly significant change. How serious do you think the attrition will be? Extremely difficult to um, predict <laughs> if, if I know when, when, when the vaccination is going to come and human psychology, I've, I've had a degree, or may, maybe a PhD in psychology, but it could be anywhere from 20% to even 35%, uh, David, is what I'm trying to, uh, getting at. But here's, here's my point. The older hotels, the legacy properties that require fresh capital to refurbish may actually either, either, either wind up or be sold as new real estate. So there, there could very well be a knocking down of, say, legacy properties of 30 or 40 years of, of age because the owners by virtue of taking on additional debt, however concessional they may be, they'll have balance sheets that are extremely stretched by the end of this COVID period. So where do we find the money for, uh, for the refurbishment and repositioning? So that's my guess. Those who cannot muster the capital, they will be forced to sell for real estate value and there'll be fresh capital coming in. So in the short term, yes, we'll, there will be attrition, but gradually a better position product will uh, come into play. And I, I believe taking a five-year position Sri Lanka will be better positioned to take our tourism to the three, four million uh, tourist arrival level from the yeah, it's three, COVID, two million level. That's right. I mean, it's it's clearly, I mean, really, really fascinating that that 
while you know both force both um, force majeure um, incidents or you know terrible incidents that have happened may finally result in in the legacy the balance sheet legacy the the um, traditional structures of, of 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 companies and of actually moving along or evolving and creating a stronger industry that, i mean you mentioned also the, the 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 your belief that it may be an opportunity now for international brands to come in are you thinking in this regard where international brands are coming in and investing as well some international brands it's it's probably fewer international brands would invest particularly the asian brands would look at investing but i i, I would also believe that local brands will relook at their positioning um, in order to, um, as I mentioned earlier, in order to compete in a post-COVID uh, era. But, uh, but also what's in in interesting is what Kimali mentioned about, you know, uh, Colombo versus the, uh, the, the, the hinterland, the resort tourism segment. I believe the catalyst that will change Colombo would be the integrated resort initially, the waterfront, which is being built right. by... Uh, John Keels. Um, by the time it opens, it will probably be a year, year and a half down the road. I think this COVID will be history. And for the first time, we will have an integrated resort in, in South Asia. And I expect eventually the mice business, the conventions business, and the, uh, uh, the, the entertainment, the shopping business to emerge. The government is looking at tax policies to make Colombo a shopping destination. And then, of course, you have Port City. Sri Lanka is the only South Asian city that is built, that's doubling its CBD via rec reclamation, and it will be the only master plan central business district in the whole of South Asia, and of which more than 50% is residential. So also I believe Colombo has an opportunity of repositioning itself with the entertainment, with the mice, with the integrated resorts, with the theme parks, and attracting a new breed of residences who would take advantage of this particular area being declared as a special economic zone, which the government is considering, which hopes to attain top 25 ease of doing business. So, so you'll have an enclave within Colombo that could make Colombo itself a destination, not just for tourists, but for international residents to have their second homes and corporate headquarters governed by an overall special economic zone law that would promote service industries. And of course, entrepreneurs as well. And very quickly, because I think we're, we're out of time, but will, could and should be a catalyst or to precipitate the redefinition and the reperception of Sri Lanka as a whole. Absolutely. I believe both Colombo and, and the resort destinations, it's time for us to drill down and get our positioning right, get our product right, get our service a portfolio, right? And it's, as Kimali mentioned, however tragic it might be, it is a good chance for us to reflect and reposition the country going forward. Tilan, I, I mean, we could talk for a long time, but there's a lot of other people who are waiting to speak. Thank you so much for, for, for chatting with me and, 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 and we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.